Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at ROM called CR Droid, which is based on Android Pie. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then do consider subscribing it and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. As I informed you guys on our community tab that from now, we'll start to cover all custom Pi ROM for OnePlus 5. Because now all the ROMs are featured pack and very much stable. Today we have CR Droid available on our OnePlus 5 and I've been using it from yesterday. So let me show you software information going to about section and here you can see Android version is 9.0, CR Droid version is 5.0, security patch level is 5th January 2019, vendor security level is 1st December 2018 and the build date is 5th Jan 2019. The ROM comes with a quick step launcher but alternatively I use pixel launcher on all my devices. So this is your quick setting panel where you have lots of tiles available like battery saver, do not disturb, live display, always on display. You can also disable hardware keys directly from here, caffeine mode, screen recorder, expanded desktop and CPU info. By default ROM includes audio effects and you also have a lineage camera available. Which performs good but not up to mark so alternatively I am using Google camera application. The best part of this room is it is battery friendly and lots of customization options are available. You have nice custom icons available in the status bar for NFC and Volti. You can completely customize the status bar by going inside the CR Droid settings. There are no issues with the Volti services, phone application itself includes the recording option. All the sensors are working fine like accelerometer, magnetic, gyroscope, proximity. So let's go to settings and check out its customization options. So all the customization options can be found here inside the setting panel where we have CR droid settings. So everything is set up in one section where you have status bar, quick settings, lock screen, recents, navigation, buttons user interface, notification, sounds, miscellaneous and you have few information related to the ROM. ROM also supports OTA update so whenever any update is available you can download and install it from here. And hats off to team who is working on this ROM, they have also included the telegram group feature so from here you can directly join their group where you can put up your request and you can also report if any bugs are available. So talking about the status bar here you have status bar icon then you can customize the clock if you want to enable 4G icon you can enable it from here Bluetooth battery status so if you enable this it will always show you your Bluetooth battery status in the status bar then you have Volti icon enable and disable option you can enable or disable directly from here you can also enable the battery bar and if you want you can increase the thickness of the battery bar directly from here and here you have few amazing logos available to customize the status bar. Under quick setting panels you can adjust the rows and column in the quick setting panel. And if you want you can also enable the tile titles. Then for the lock screen we have few customizations related to weather, music visualizer can be enabled, media art, battery info double tap to sleep, fingerprint authentication and power menu. Then we have navigation bar which can be enabled or disabled from here. In this we have one pulse option which is really amazing. So whenever you play music on your device, you will get graphic equalizer on the navigation bar. Buttons have few options like accidental touch and advanced reboot. User interface have options like ambient display which have always on display feature, expanded desktop, you can also change the fonts directly from here, you can get the rounded corners. Then we have smart pixels which will help you in reducing power consumption. You have few pre-installed essence color available, under themes we have automatic based on wallpapers, automatic time of the day, light and dark have the dark theme available. So here we have one more cool thing available that is notification style that can be set based on the system theme. If you want to set it to light, you can set light theme, deep grey or amul black. So I have chosen amul black and here you can see the 
notification panel. You can also get the features like blink flashlight on call which normally comes on the Samsung devices and Apple devices. Under sounds you have few sound settings available, miscellaneous consists of suspended icons, wake lock blocker and the last one is about droid. So guys these are the complete customization options available on this room. Everything is working and perfect room for a daily driver. You have adaptive brightness that works fine. Under battery we have adaptive battery mode. Then we also have few options to change the performance profile. So as per your usage, whenever you want a good battery life, you can keep it to minimum that is power save. Then we have efficiency after that balance, then comes quick. And the last one is performance, which can be used while playing games like PUBG. So talking about the battery backup, battery backup was really great on this room. Let me show you the screenshot which I have taken. So this was the battery backup, which I got it on the first cycle that was 3 hours and 53 minutes with 4% of battery remaining. Now talking about the benchmark results using Geekbench application and N22 Bench application. With Geekbench application single core have scored 1639 wherein multi core have scored 5061. With N22 benchmark device have scored 150000. So guys this was the complete review about CR Droid Room and now I'll be testing many other rooms. So if you have any request you can put up in the comment section below and later I'll get a video on the best room based on battery and the best room based on performance. So guys if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching have a great day.